said, the book is called Billion Dollar Loser, and it, it tells basically the story of, of the rise of WeWork and, and the fall of WeWork. Um, you know, early on, Adam was the person who was, who was uh, doing the pitching. He was the one appearing on the live stream at your conference uh, early on. He was the one out there kind of talking up the vision and, and talking to investors and, and things like that. And Miguel was the one kind of building the business. He was, uh, we know there's some weird and unusual things, but mostly we just wanted to try to figure out how this real estate business had, had grown so quickly. If, if you want to give credit, which I think a lot of credit is due to WeWork, I think it's in that. It's in this fact that they um, scaled a business um, that, that shouldn't have been scalable. You know, the, the story of WeWork would be different if, if SoftBank were not there and if, if that money had not been there to, to push the company's growth and force the company to live up to those expectations. You know, once, once you bring all that money into the system, the, the expectations for the amount of money you're going to produce increase, you know, significantly. And, and, and